so this is Griffin. He's new. He's a shepherd mix. He's a puppy. Um, he's under a year, definitely. Maybe, maybe only six months. He's very, very white teeth. Um, just got neutered on Wednesday. Quiet, Sheba. You, you guys are usually in your crates for a couple hour nap in the afternoon anyway. Hey, Griff. I think somebody kept him as a yard dog. He's, um, he'll need the full range of obedience. He's not difficult. Gets along fine with other dogs. Um, he acts like a submissive male. Is he giving kisses? <laughs> Luz, I don't know how you can stand that. <laughs> So he's mildly obnoxious, um, working on him, like I say, he's only been here two days and um, started him with a crate training and feeding him in his crate. Everybody gets fed in their crates. Nobody's in their crates for long periods of time. They've actually been running around since 5 o'clock this morning outside. It's been really, really cool here uh, since the hurricane winds are blowing. Very windy today. But beautiful, low humidity. So the dogs are outside since five, and actually they really enjoyed it. It was they were wanting to stay out. There was like sixty degrees. So it's now three o'clock, and it's warmed up quite a bit outside. And um, we put the them down for their doggy naps, doggy daycare nap. No, no ma'am, Sheba, Sheba. So if anybody's interested in, in uh, Griffin, he will need standard obedience and structure just like any dog coming in. Um, he's very puppy. I probably would not, see now he was just neutered. Don't let him do that, Luce. I probably would not put him with little, little kids. Just because he's he's obnoxious, um, you know, kids over the age of six, seven, eight, maybe nine. Just uh, he might be still thinking, "Hey, I'm gonna hump something." So and he's a good boy. He's pretty, a pretty boy. He was slated for euthanasia on Monday, so um, just couldn't couldn't let him do it. He's very sweet. Mm -hmm. What he's mixed with, we don't know. He's, uh, like I said, 50 pounds, and uh, so he's a little guy, but he's still got some growing to do, so he could still easily, he could still easily reach 60, 65 pounds. Um, <clears throat> looks like mom was a German shepherd, and, you know, what daddy was, who knows. We don't, huh? Traveling salesman. Yes, traveling salesman. Rolling Stone. Unfortunately, here in the South, we see people that don't want to spay and neuter, and then all these litters of puppies are born, and they give them away on Craigslist, and, and they end up in shelters. And um, there's some shelters that we've heard that in some days in puppy season they'll have eight to ten litters come in a day. So I heard that about some shelters in North and South Carolina and Georgia. I know. Guess what? What? We got candy. Oh, yeah, heard. Okay, I'm just going to stop this little short video here at Griffin, and then we'll be doing some more evaluation of him later on.